Hello, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna see what's useful to know when we're traveling. Let's get started right away. Hello, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Do You Speak English? I'm your teacher, Bridget. Today, we will see something very important, how to make the past and the past participle. We will see how to pronounce the ED correctly because there's three ways to pronounce the ED. There's id, just d, and sometimes it's even pronounced as a t. Later, we'll see about irregular verbs, which changed completely. But today, let's take a look at the ED, how to pronounce it. Let's start with the easiest one, the id. As we can see, the ED here will be pronounced as id, which is the easiest way to pronounce it. For example, we have the word want. In the past, it will be wanted. Need, because it ends in a D, will be needed. Same thing, ends with a T, so it's collected. And finally, detected. I'll have you pronounce it now. That's right, wanted. Needed. Collected. Detected. And this is because the words finish with T and D. You pronounce id. Wanted. Needed. Collected. And detected. We'll do it one more time together. You go first. Wanted. Needed. Collected. And detected. So there you go. That's for the T and the D. Now let's go to the next board. Let's put it in a sentence. I wanted to buy a car. I needed a ride home. I collected hockey cards. I detected a problem. Let's go, you try it now. That's right. I wanted to buy a car. Did you say I needed a ride home? Very good. I collected hockey cards. And yes, I detected a problem. Let's move to another pronunciation now. When you have words that end with P, K, H, S, S, C, or X, the pronunciation of the ED will sound like a T. Let's look at some examples. We have the word help. The ED will sound like Helped. Very important to pronounce helped. That's what makes the difference between the present and the past. Look becomes looked. Wash, wash your hands, becomes washed. Laugh, <laughs> becomes laughed and not laughed, laughed. Kiss becomes kissed. 
dance becomes danced. Fix becomes fixed. Notice how I pronounce the T at the, the end. Fixed. Push becomes pushed. Watch, like watch TV, is watched. And like, like I like you, becomes liked in the past. Let's look at it again. Helped. Looked. Washed. Laughed. Kissed. Danced. Fixed. Pushed. Watched. And liked. Okay, now I'm going to leave you some time to pronounce it on your own and I'll pronounce it correctly after you. That's right. Helped. Looked. Washed. I hope you're pronouncing that T very clearly. Laughed. Kissed. Danced. Fixed. Pushed. Watched. And liked. Good job. Now let's do it with some sentences. First sentence. They helped us clean the house. So these sentences are in the past. The children looked good. We washed the car yesterday. He laughed when he saw the clown. She kissed Santa Claus. We danced all night. We pushed the car. We watched television all night. And finally, we liked your play. Now I'm going to leave you some time to pronounce it and I'll pronounce it after you. So let's go with the first sentence. That's right. They helped us clean the house. The children looked good. We washed the car yesterday. That's right, he laughed when he saw the clown. She kissed Santa Claus. We danced all night. We pushed the car. We watched television all night. And finally, we liked your play. Good job. Now, for the last pronunciation, all the other words will just be pronounced with D. For example, call, like to make a phone call. Call becomes called. It's just a D at the end, called. Clean becomes cleaned. Offer becomes offered. Love becomes 
loved in the past. Use becomes used. Follow becomes followed. Enjoy becomes enjoyed. Just the D at the end. Play becomes played. And stay becomes stayed. I'll give you a chance to pronounce it, and then I'll pronounce it correctly after you. Just a D at the end. Cold. Good job. Cleaned. Offered. I hope we can hear that D very, very well. Loved. Used. Followed. Enjoyed. Played. And finally, stayed. We hear your D? That's very good. Now let's have some sentences. She called a doctor. I cleaned the house. He offered to help me. I loved the movie. I used your eraser. I followed the instructions. Are you following my instructions? And pronounce that D. I enjoyed your party. We played tennis. She stayed home. Now it's going to be your turn. I want to hear that D very well. That's right, she called a doctor. I cleaned the house. He offered to help me. I loved the movie. I used your eraser. I followed the instructions. I enjoyed your party. Very good. We played tennis. And finally, she stayed at home. I think I hear your D. Very good job. Now we're going to mix it up, the three of them, and see if you can know which one is which. I wanted to buy a car. Since it finishes with a T, it's id. I wanted to buy a car. The children looked good. Because it finishes with a K, the ED is pronounced as a T. I needed a ride home. It finishes with a D, so it's the id sound. We watched television at night. It finishes with an H, so the ED sounds like a T. I followed the instructions. It's just a D. She stayed at home. Just a D again. And finally, I detected a problem. Because it finishes with a T or a D, it's id. 
Let's take it away and see if you can do it. That's right, I wanted to buy a car. It has the id sound because it finishes with a T. The children looked good because it finishes with a K, it has the T sound. I needed a ride home. Did you get it correctly? I needed a ride home. It finishes with a D. We watched television at night. It had the T sound. I followed the instructions. Just a D. She stayed at home. Did you pronounce just a D? I hope so. And finally, we have a word finishing with a T. So, I detected a problem. It has the id sound because it finishes in a T or a D. One more time. I wanted to buy a car. The children looked, a T sound, good. I needed a ride home. We watched, with a T, television at night. I followed, just a D, the instructions. She stayed, just a D, at home. And finally, we have a word ending in T, so it's, I detected a problem. Very good, let's put them back, just as a recap. As you can see, I wanted to buy a car. The children looked good. I needed a ride home. We watched television at night. I followed the instructions. She stayed at home. I detected a problem. You can practice that at home, I'm sure. As for us, we're gonna move to another segment and see a little bit about meals and food. Let's see about the restaurant. Everybody loves going to the restaurant. Gives you a little break on dishes. So let's see about the restaurant. Here, you have your hostess. The hostess will bring you the menu. There's a couple having a little tete-a-tete. -tete. And look at that, they're not even using their cell phone at the restaurant. Maybe they like each other. When you start, you can start with an appetizer. In this case, we have little biscuits with smoked salmon and cream cheese. You could also have a little wine and cheese. There's a glass of red wine. You could also have white wine or water. You can have a bowl of soup. And as your main course, you could be having a steak or fish. In this case, we have salmon again. Or pasta. Here's some spaghetti. It could be macaroni, lasagna. That's pasta. And finally, at the end of your meal, you will have dessert. The best part, maybe with a cup of coffee or tea. So if we look at this again, when you arrive at the restaurant, your hostess will show you your seat. She will bring you the menu. Hopefully, you will be dining with somebody. Maybe you'll order an appetizer. 
or a little wine and cheese, or a soup. As your main course, you might have steak, or fish, or pasta. And finally, you will have dessert. Let's see about breakfast now. For breakfast, you can have scrambled eggs, a bowl of cereals. These look like Fruit Loops. I have to tell you, my favorite is Cat and Crunch. Here, we have hard boiled eggs. This is sunny side up eggs, which means they haven't been turned. They're sunny side up. Here's an omelet. And right here, we have toast. What do you put on your toast? Some people like peanut butter, some people like peanut butter and jam. Toast. Bagel. Pancakes. Pancakes with maple syrup. Mmm. And waffles. So let's see the options for breakfast. We could be having scrambled eggs. A bowl of cereals, hard boiled eggs, eggs ordered sunny side up, an omelet, toast, toast with peanut butter and jam, a bagel, pancakes, or waffles. Bon appétit! Here's something else that you can order at the restaurant. If you're a seafood lover like myself, let's take a look at some seafood. Oysters. Sometimes they even contain a pearl. Shrimps. Very popular in sushi. Shrimps. Crab, lobster, lobster is very good with garlic butter, mussels, just like your mussels, but it's spelt differently, octopus, scallops, very popular in Coquille Saint-Jacques, scallops. Clams, fried calamari, one more time, oysters, shrimps, crab, lobster, mussels, octopus, scallops, clams, and fried calamari. Let's take off the answers and see if you can guess what it is. That's right, oysters. Shrimps, good job. Crab. Lobster. Mussels, octopus, scallops, clam, like in a clam chowder, and fried calamari. Let's put back the answers, and I hope you got all of them right. Oysters, shrimp, crab, lobster, mussels, 
octopus, scallop, clams, and fried calamari. Now that we've seen a few things about the restaurant, a common question you get asked in conversation in English is, what do you do for a living? That means, what do you do as a profession to earn money? Let's take a look at some of these jobs. You could be a fireman, a policeman. Ooh, who's that? A teacher, a secretary, a doctor, a cashier in a grocery store, a lawyer, a truck driver, a journalist. Let's take a look at it one more time. You could be a fireman. What do you do for a living? I am a policeman. I am a teacher. I am a secretary. I am a doctor. I am a cashier. I am a lawyer. I am a truck driver. I am a journalist. This is how you would answer the question, what do you do for a living? I am a teacher. I hope you enjoyed this class and we'll see you next time on Do You Speak English? Fier de faire rayonner notre communauté.